everyone. Thank you so much for coming on here and letting me interview you. Thank you. Wow. Um, my first question is for Coach Teeley. Even after the season was halted due to COVID, your team was able to stay connected and practice from a distance. What was the experience like? We had an incredible spring season last, um, last year. We actually moved to action um, during the time we would have been on our spring break trip. So we got in 10 weeks of inner squad training and competition with more than 30 people um, there on a weekly basis. So Donica and Erica were really instrumental in keeping the team spirits up and keeping the competition alive. Wow, it's great that you guys were able to have so many practices. Um, for Donica and Erica, um, what were you able to take away from the workouts last spring to help you going into this year? Um, I think our old captain, Sami and Audrey, really set a great precedent of just like meeting when we're warming up and just getting like a good energy before our workouts, especially if we're training in different areas or in different times and just uh, like keeping the team spirit together. And we did a lot of aerobic exercises to warm up with and then we did like different types of cardio depending on what type of equipment we had. So I think that was a really good um, start and something that we followed this season too. It also gave me a lot of hope for future seasons because even virtually so, so many girls were motivated to come every day. And I remember in my little groups each week, we would FaceTime to do the warm up, and then we usually chat for a little bit. So it was nice to bond as a team, even if it had to be virtual. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, and for Coach Teeley, what were you able to accomplish this fall in order to prepare for the spring? Yeah, this fall was great. We actually were able to um, teach the basics of rowing over the fall the fall term, as well as create that, that feeling that Donica and Erica are talking about that's so important to our team's success. And that's just people like liking being around each other. So we had, um, I think the fall season really gave us a boost going into spring. Mm -hmm. And Donica and Erica, for the upcoming season, what is one thing you hope to accomplish as a team? I think um, for me, I think just the team being together and being a really close-knit team is really important. And I definitely think we can get there. I think we're already there. We've gotten really close through like Zoom sessions, like information breakout rooms, and also just like being together in the fall was really important. And I think that when you have that really close team dynamic, it's um, a lot easier to like work for the girls that are in your boat and just very collaborative for success. Yeah, I'm really excited to cultivate and energize the younger girls. I know that we have a few races this season, but some of the bigger ones like Stotesbury might not happen, but the future of Lawrence Cruz is bright. So I wanna make sure that the freshmen and sophomores are really excited to do crew. Mm -hmm. And another question for the players. What is your favorite part about being a part of the crew team? Um, so I'm a coxswain on the crew team, and for anyone who doesn't know, that's a small person at the front of the boat who steers the boat, keeps the girls safe, and has a lot of motivation, race strategy, etc. Um, and I have learned so much, more than I ever thought I would from a sport, mainly leadership, collaboration, and how to get a group of girls who might be from all different parts of campus, different houses, areas of life, and they really come together as one boat. So learning to be that type of leader has been really, really interesting and exciting for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree. I think just learning from like the different types of people who do join crew because you know you have a lot of like hockey players who are trying this for the first time or maybe like some more experienced rowers. I just think I've learned a lot in terms of like uh, I don't know just like different types of like fitness workouts or just like different mentalities that they all bring when racing and I think that's been really beneficial for me. Mm -hmm. Well it sounds like you guys are going to have a great crew season. Thank you for letting me interview you all. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.